What's up everybody, Yank.com here, and today I'm bringing you a quick game of Euro 2012. It's the FIFA, <coughs> FIFA 2012 uh, DLC pack that came live, I think just towards the end of last week or early this week. Uh, it's basically, you can either download the game itself for 20 quid, or it's available as a free download, where you can just play as an exhibition match between either Spain or Germany. Uh, I'll pick Spain in this one. No, no, not, not against the Germans, but I just wanted to see what the Spanish are like. Um, yeah, like I said, it came out live just towards the end of last week. It's basically just it, it, for anyone who, if, if anybody who ever remembers when they bring out these games every four years, there's a you know there was yours as I was gonna say it. There was the the FIFA World Cup game for 2012 there two years ago as well, and now basically inst instead of releasing it as a standalone game, they've just decided to put it as a DLC, which to be honest, I think is a ten times better idea because no one ever liked buying these games. They cost. 40 quid 50 quid and for for what you were getting it was basically just keep you tied over until the new fifa came out there was no ever never any new graphics in it. it was never any new sort of gameplay stuff it was just basically basically like you went to create a tournament put all the tournaments in edited the teams and then banged it out as a game for 50 quid and <laughs> to be honest I, I know that annoyed a lot of people so I, th I think they've done a really smart thing here and just bringing it out as a dlc because it, it works better and to be honest it you know if, you're better off just charging 20 quid for it instead of 50 quid because more people are going to buy it anyway in the long run. Uh, as regards the game itself, what's in it? Uh, it's as, as it's like I said, it's not a standalone title; it's just a DLC. But you have an option to play uh, ranked online games with this as well. I, I don't know what way this, the stats will be with that. Whether you'll be kind of at your current kind of level or whether you'll be back from a kind of default, just basically back at the start. I have no idea. I haven't got this game yet downloaded. I've just got the trial. I'll probably I've to get a few things have to upgrade my internet security and all that stuff now this week. So I'll be I'll be getting that. I'll, I'll probably get this towards the end of the week and be on Thursday or Friday. But uh, well actually this will probably be going up Thursday or Friday. But yeah. But by the time I get this, I'll probably. By the time this goes up on YouTube, I'll probably have the game downloaded. Uh, like I said, there's not really much else kind of new brought into it. There is a challenge series, which is basically kind of how would you put it? It's it's challenge series is basically a link up kind of if. if you, something to kind of compare it to it's it's like career mode and like career mode and ultimate team put into one that's that's basically the only way i can really explain it uh that's i'll, I'll go into i'll explain what that is in a second but uh other than that there's not there's not really much else just obviously you can play the, the the kind of road to yours 2012 and stuff like that as well but that that's it that that's pretty much all you have is just Th those three those three game modes themselves um just to touch back on what the challenge series is uh like i said it's 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 kind of an amalgamation between ultimate team and career mode you have the option in it to bring in your created player your virtual pro and basically build a team around him so what happens is you will play uh for argument's sake let's just take you know germany into, into just give them an example you can play basically any of the any of the countries that they're in the group with uh, so I, I forget what the groups are, but you play the play a team once you beat them. You will have the option then to take a player from hit the from Germany's res or from the other team's reserves and put them onto your team. So when you, when you that's what that's when you beat them once. If you beat them twice, you can take a substitute off that team and put it onto your team. And when you beat them a third time, you have the option to take a starting eleven player off the, off that team and put it onto your team. So what you do is basically as you the more times you beat a team, the better players you can get, and you build that team. And like I said, you create that team, whatever team you want. So the the better players, the better teams you beat, the better players you can pick, and so on and so forth. Um, <coughs> it it kind of works on it. It's kind of a link up between uh, the teams you're playing and the teams you want to play. So if you, you can't just you know you can't just play a team, you, you can't just say be Germany and say okay, I want to play Spain so I can get Davide or whoever off the team and put on you have to go through a kind of a, a road system so you have to go from one country to another country to another country so say if you wanted to play spain you'd have to play france first and then go on to spain it, it kind of has to bridge each one but uh, apparently as far as, as far as we've been told if if you beat a team you know you have the option to go to the next team but if you lose against that team it'll send you back a space kind of thing so you'll have to play the first team all over again but uh, according, apparently there's kind of a secret challenge or a, not a secret challenge but it's, it's towards your, your challenges your trophy system you beat 50, all teams three times there's 53 teams in it or something like that 58 teams in the game you beat them all three times and you, you get to complete a mosaic and that goes towards your, your trophies for your for your PSN challenges and stuff like that so 
you know, I can't accomplishment whores be be aware. <laughs> there's there's new stuff out there for you, but uh, I I think it's a good idea. I, I, it it brings something new to the game, something that. To be honest, we've, we've we've all played FIFA enough now at this stage. There's nothing really new to it, uh, we, especially with FIFA 12. You know, we've been all playing it now since whatever September. It, it's it's a new game mode. It's it's something that's going to breathe a bit more life into the game, a bit more longevity. Uh, like I said, a lot of people didn't like buying these games for 50 quid because, you know, the the new FIFA was only a couple of months down the road. Like you're buying what three three games in the space of a year, three football games in the space of a year. It it it, it didn't really make sense. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of I'm glad it's out as a DLC. It was a smart move, and I think a lot more a lot more people will buy this than than would have bought the the game on its own, the, the kind of standalone game. So I think I'll have to tip my hat to EA and say you did actually pretty well for once in that one. <laughs> uh, as regards, I think as regards to other stuff to come into my channel, uh, I've been getting a few entries into the top five players and the trolls and all that sort of stuff. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, I'll, I'll be. I'll be putting all that stuff together soon enough. Uh, keep sending the stuff in by all means and keep it going as long as we can. Uh, I'm going to start doing live comms soon-ish. I, I tried doing a live comms session with a few of the guys and it didn't work for some reason. I think I think I knew, need a new mic. But uh, that's it's going to be starting soon. I'm going to have live comms sessions going pretty soon. So I won't be doing too many more gameplay commentaries. It's all going to be pretty much live stuff. There will be FIFA Ultimate Team. I think that'll be the only stuff I'll be commentating over. And maybe Let's Plays and stuff like that as well. But until until uh, until I get a mic sword, I probably won't be doing anything for the next three or four days anyway. So, but well, light wet live come wise, I'll be I'll be doing normal content until then. But uh, yeah, this game is pretty much almost at an end. I uh, just want to thank everybody for comments, positive comments, and all that sort of stuff I've been getting since uh, since I started back uploading. Uh, I know a lot of people have been kind of saying, where have I been? So, so someone put out rumours that I was in prison. <laughs> I don't, don't know who. Someone sent me a message and said, oh, I said, I thought you were in prison. So I, I just want to say, no, I, I wasn't. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe that. But uh, yeah, uh, I've I've a gameplay up on the Voss Network as well. Uh, I just kind of introduced myself to that. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, this game is pretty much just in an end, so I'm, I think I'll just let the gameplay itself kind of fizzle out into the background. Uh, all right, guys. Until next time, which will probably be, hopefully be a lot sooner than the last commentary I did. Uh, guys, I'll take it again. Take it easy. Good luck. See ya.